It's 19 years since the young lifeguard vanished. Kathy Curran has been following this case since day one. Kathy, what do we know? And Emily and Ben, state police detectives in Worcester County are hoping the strides made in DNA testing will lead them to Molly's killer. We've learned they're doing some new testing on items from the two crime scenes in this case. Molly Bish was just 16 years old when she vanished from her lifeguard post at Cummins Pond on June 27, 2000. Investigators are testing DNA from that scene and the scene a few miles away on Whiskey Hill where Molly's remains were found years later. Testing on evidence and several persons of interest has been done in the past, but they haven't been able to come up with a solid DNA profile. For the Bish family, the new testing strengthens their hope that someday they'll know what happened and who murdered Molly. It's 19 years, but it feels like yesterday that I was just talking to her or holding her hand. I just miss her and it's it's hard to keep going and and put it to rest when you don't know who did this or why they did this. I think we're just still holding on to finding out what happened to Molly that day. And the hope is that this new testing would eventually lead to phenotype DNA testing and a physical profile of a suspect to help find Molly's killer. We do know investigators have been in touch with Parabon Labs in Virginia, which specializes in this new technology. Right now, DNA testing is being done at the state crime lab and out of state. Kathy Carn 5 investigates.